Hi Queens and welcome to the season finale of Style Unlocked. Before we get into today's season finale, I just wanted to come and chat really quickly about the show and just kind of like how I guess my thought process around creating it. Um, each guest was such an exciting but um, hard <laughs> experience. Um, we were really focused while we filmed the season finale so I feel like I didn't get a chance to like appropriately acknowledge all of the highs and the lows and just like all the work that went into producing this first season of Style Unlocked. I always like to stay inspired and I was just looking for something that I wanted to see. You know, I love YouTube, I love watching TV, um, and I just wanted to watch something about fashion. I feel like we used to have so many shows, you know, what not to wear and um, fashion police. And just, if you were a fashion lover, just something where you could watch it. Um, it may have been a little critical, but it was all in like in good fun and it was just like playful but still like you learned about designers. I wanted to watch something like that. So I thought, let me create it. I thought about it on a Saturday and then I started writing an outline the next day on Sunday and I happened to already be going to New York. Shout out and major thank you to Chi. That was our first guest. Um, I was already going to New York for a work engagement and we were planning to have dinner and I was like, hey, I have this idea. I would love for you to just be the first guest and just like help me work through it. Like, would you be okay with that? We'll just do it right before we go to dinner. Like, it'll be super easy. And she agreed. So we'll have to redo her episode because it was literally just like, I was on the plane, literally just trying to write out like the whole episode. I was thinking of games on the plane and just like getting everything together. And then we filmed it that night. And I also wanted somewhere where we could celebrate black fashion, right? Like fashion and movies and TV series and things that we love that I feel like always don't get the appreciation that they deserve. Um, and also just celebrating fashion people. This isn't about an influencer thing. It also is not a celebrity thing. Um, my goal was that it's people that have a very unique personal style, their own uh, personal style journey, something that they can share so that it helps you guys and me reflect on our own personal style journey. So no one is coming with like definitive answers. It's just about listening to someone's journey and then hopefully taking like what you need from each conversation along with the entertainment aspect. So that was my goal. Get into like each guest because I was really intentional. I mean, I had a long list of guests. Um, so a lot of people have rolled over to season two because a lot of this was also about like schedules working out and just all of us being in the right place at the right time. Um, my goal for season two is to have more plus size people, um, also to have more men and just people from all different walks of life is the goal. Uh, but again, shout out to Chi for being the first guest and kind of just helping us get the momentum, get our ideas flowing. That's where we got a lot of feedback from you guys to like make different games and, you know, make a great intro, talk more about people's background. And then the second guest, uh, and I chose Chi because she was, yes, an influencer and someone super passionate about fashion, but also because she had a background in the industry, right? Working at Coach, being an executive, she brought that expertise to the episode. Um, and then the second guest was Ka, who I feel like because he is a man, I just wanted that perspective, but he's also someone who's been very like, thoughtful and intentional about his style and how he wants to present himself over the last few years. This is some, all of these people are people I either know from the internet or know in real life. So I knew that about him and I had already followed him, but he also had a unique perspective because he works with celebrities. Um, he does their hair. So he also could give us that perspective of like what he sees on the inside of fashion. So I, I want him as a guest as well. Um, next was Marjan. And to me, Marjan is like a fashion, a fashion person's fashion girl. Like when I think of a fashion person, that's Marjan. She's not in fashion, right? She's a writer. Um, she does, I mean, she wrote articles for all of the major publications. Um, and she writes about fashion sometimes, but also just pop culture. She does interviews like, but she is someone who has a very unique, distinctive personal style. She always, she knows how to dress herself. She's been a fashion person. She lives in New York. Like she is just, again, a quintessential fashion person. So I wanted, I knew she was gonna have all the hot takes as well. So she brought a lot of that to the episode. Next was Tashira, a very good friend of mine who is, always has a hot take, but also is, I knew she would have the ability to like really share her like inner thoughts, really deep dive because 
her journey with style has been a lot about doing a lot of inner work. Um, a lot of, she talks about therapy all the time and just like things that she has had to like realize about herself. I knew the conversations were gonna go like from here to here, right? We would get deep and then she's also hilariously funny. So it was just exactly what I knew it was gonna be. So that was my reason for choosing her. After that was Kendall, I believe, who is Kendall Miles, a shoe designer. We've been friends on Instagram. We met once, um, but I knew I wanted a designer as a part of season one. My hope is to get more designers. And I always talk about her shoe brand, so that was a no-brainer. And also she's such a fashion, like she's like an it girl to me. She is like, you know, in the places to be. She's also a little younger, so I wanted the view, you know, our younger viewers to have that perspective as well as someone who is like approaching 30 and trying to figure out their, their style journey. And then also someone who can share, you know, the insider knowledge around owning a brand and like how that transitions into like what their style looks like. After that, I think was my row, which my row is a fashion girl as well. Um, also a good friend, but she is also someone who um, has a very unique personal style. Like I can see things and say, that's my row. So I wanted, someone who could talk definitively definitively about why they like the things I like. She is very confident in what she loves and what she doesn't like, um, but she also is not afraid to like be critical of herself. So I thought that would be a really good perspective as well. After her was Cassie um, and I wanted Cassie on because she loves giving commentary. She always talks about just like what is going on in fashion. I feel like she does her due diligence more than anyone I know. And I also wanted to get her take on like luxury fashion. And we do, we, we talk a lot around like things that are trending and what's hot in designers. She was like the perfect person to be able to like lend her thoughts around that. And I think you all noticed that a lot of people were like, I did not know who this was. It was an immediate follow. She's so funny, but also she knows what she's talking about. Cause she does a lot of like research to make sure she again, knows what she's talking about before she gives her opinion on things. So, and then after that was Jackie Ina. So that was the last episode. And I've also been friends with Jackie for a few years now. And I wanted Jackie on because she like Ka. Um, and I don't find this in many people who set an intention for themselves on how they want to look. They notice what their, where their style currently is. And they make the, the decision to say, okay, I don't want to do that anymore. I think I want to do this. Let me mood board. Let me figure out how I want to feel. Let me figure out the person I want to present to the world and actively start to do that. She is somebody because obviously we talk and like, I know that that is a journey she's been on. And I just thought that was something that was really relatable to be able to, to share. Um, especially at this point in her career, I feel like when people see her, they just think like, she has has it all figured out while she is also still figuring it out. We have a lot of ideas for season two. We just want it to be a little more structured. Um, we want to have time to like plan out each episode a little more. We still have a long list of people we'd love to see. But of course, if you have any suggestions, leave them below. Filming this takes a lot of effort. Obviously we travel <laughs> to each person um, or try to coordinate schedules to be wherever. We try to make it as easy for the guests as possible. So we try to go wherever they're going to be. Then planning it out, doing the research and the editing. Like I do all of the editing <laughs> for the videos. So like getting all those graphics, doing all the research to find all the pictures. It's a lot coming up with the games and the, it's, it's a lot. Something you wanna see, again, your ideas I feel like have really helped this flourish and, and be as good as it is. So if you have any ideas, any new games, um, we really want to make each episode very intentional to the person. I feel like in the last three episodes, you can kind of see that it like is very tailored to the person, which takes just more time. But I want to do like a live episode where we can maybe like rent a theater or something like that and have like a live audience. So I have lots of ideas, but we are open to suggestions. So, and again, make sure you like and subscribe and share this. If it is your new favorite show, if you love what we're doing, please make sure you share it with people so they can watch it. And now we come to our season finale. In this episode, I wanted it to mean a lot to me. I wanted this to be someone who inspired my personal style, who I looked up to, who I referenced. Um, and we always talk about how much of a 90s girl I am. Like that is just, that is my goal every day when I get dressed. Like I reference 90s hair, 90s makeup, 90s clothing. That is just where I found myself. Like my mom was a 90s girl. Like that's, that's just who I am. So having Coco on. It was a no-brainer. If you remember the vlog, my first Essence Fest, we met there. Um, and I was literally shocked. I couldn't believe she knew who I was. Um, and we surprisingly happened to live in the same city. 
So I was on my way to the airport and one of the songs came on the radio while we were driving to the airport. And while I was having the thought of like, who's gonna be the season finale guest? Like who should I, you know, reach out to? And I was like, oh my God, why didn't I think of Coco? And I DM'd her and she immediately said yes. Like absolutely, she loves the series, she'd love to be on. And it was just a dream. Like it was just so perfect to be able to like also give her her flowers around style. I mean, we all know she can sing. We all know they've been singing forever. Um, but I feel like we don't, especially now, right? With like Y2K and 90s being so in, in trend. Even like nails, all those things. Like when I started like doing all the research for this show, I was like, they need to put some respect on your name. So that's what we're gonna do today. And we're rambling. Let's get into the season finale of Style Unlocked. Like Coco, please. Yeah, like I does. need them to put some respect in there. That's old man. <laughs> you don't sit your ass. Yeah, let's do my job. And I want you. Oh. And you have me spending a lot of money. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hi, queens. Welcome back to Style Unlocked, the season finale, where I sit down with our stylish faves, talk through their personal style journey, rate some celebrity looks, play some fashion trivia. I hope these conversations help you unlock your personal style. My guest today is bound to leave you weak in the knees at her Rolodex of accomplishments. The New York native is a natural born star who has been serenading the world with her flawless vocals since the 90s. Cheryl Gamble, also known as the one and only Coco from the iconic group SWV, has continued to take the world by storm in the most stylish ways by standing firm in who she is and loving herself fully. Today we give her proverbial flowers that are long overdue. Please welcome my next guest. Miss Coco, AKA Cocaina. <laughs> you're the guest. Tell us what you're wearing. Oh, I'm wearing a Prada denim shirt. A yeah, a little something. Some je my jeans are from Zara. Shoes are Prada. And the glasses, they're so cute. These glasses are my son's glasses. <laughs> Know where you got them from? We'll, we'll figure it out. The Amazon. We'll pop it up on. So. They look so good. Thank you. Okay. And I'm wearing a Mugler top. Also, proud of skirt. Mm -hmm. We're basically twins. Um, so we're gonna start with the game. This is who slayed harder. Have you seen this game before? Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but we did it with a twist. Okay. So usually you would be rating other celebrities. Okay. But since you are legendary yourself, uh -huh. and because y'all been showing out lately, yeah, we see it. So you gotta be writing your own looks. Okay. 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 So these, I mean, they're all they're all bangers. Okay. But you're gonna tell us which looks late. Okay. Be. So the first two looks are this is a concert mm -hmm. look, That's and then this was some press you did for Vogue. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, girl. <laughs> which looks laid harder? I like the um, press we did with Vogue. Mm, wow. That was the first time I revealed my short haircut. Oh, so it was a moment. Vogue's most likely to. And we're SWV. I'm Taj. I'm Coco. And I'm Lily. Who is most likely to get lost in your hometown of New York City? Both of them. <laughs> yes. I walk all over the city. No, it wouldn't be me. It would Coco. Be me. Okay. <laughs> Who is most likely to be late to the studio? Lily. Lily. <laughs> Who is most likely to be early to the studio? <laughs> Who is most likely to be dressed up when the group said to go casual? <laughs> Who is most likely to go viral for a TikTok dance? Lily. <laughs> Who is most likely to be too weak in the knees for somebody? Coco! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get at that <laughs> Yeah, and I love the outfits that he chose for us that day. He did. So, yeah. And it looks so good with the hair. Yeah. Okay, give it a swipe. Boop, it's okay. this to you, girl. I got him right here, so you can <laughs> take it in. Okay, so this is a solo shot. Okay. So this is, you, you did a New Year's photo shoot. Yeah. And then this was a show. Oh, no, Dope billboard was, interview. You did yeah, interview that yeah. Show. I like the billboard in the denim. The denim. <laughs> I love. Yeah, that was a look. This denim was a that look. That was a look. Yeah, I okay. love it. And like, I love the New York hat. I like how he put that in I there. I feel like this is so you. Yeah, it is. I loved it. Okay, okay. So that one's slightly harder. Okay, now this one is a concert look, and then you were on the Sherry Shepard show. Oh, oh. I know. Yeah, I, I had to make a part. So these are both black fire looks. I love the, the suits, the concert look. They hated the suits, but I love the girl. Oh, really? Yeah. I love the suits. I love the I suit. love the bustier. I love the sunglasses. Yeah, this is this was a moment for us because we don't normally wear these heels. Mm-hmm. 
when we're doing a concert. So yeah, I like the black suits. Yeah, I agree. This was a cute moment too. Yeah. This is, you yeah. look so confident. Me too, like what bosses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your vibe. <laughs> okay, next up, this was Jennifer Hudson's show. And then this is another concert look. I gotta go with this concert It's look. fine. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we don't see y'all in a cat suit you don't. very often, but that was... This was nice. Um, he, these capes were amazing. They were so dramatic, and we pulled them off at some point in the show, mm -hmm. and I just loved it. And he he let us be comfortable. We had on flat boots here. Because it's so much glamour. Yeah. You barely noticed. And we had the... Um, what are, I think these cat suits were see-through, if I'm not mistaken, right? They were see-through. So, yeah, you saw a little something, <laughs> something here. <laughs> We love to see yeah. it. <laughs> okay, next up, this is Juneteenth concert. Mm -hmm. And then this is another concert look. So two kind of like cool, Ooh. casual, comfy looks. I, I might have to go with the camouflage looks because we, I, we had the capes on here. We had some yeah. and they were dramatic as well. Yeah. And uh, we, we snatched them off. So I really like You them. love the drama. I do love the drama. <laughs> I feel like that's what a stage look is about. Yeah. It's and, like... um, you know, we had the pouches, the fanny packs here. And he just, you know, he styled us from head to toe. Yeah, so I like this, 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 the camouflage look. This looks look. so good with the hair, too. Yeah. Okay. And I think this is our last one. So this is a photo shoot you did. And then this is yeah. your Black Music Honors. I like Black Music Honors. <laughs> this may be my favorite look ever. Yeah. I love the Black Music Honors. We fought him so hard on these these looks. Really? Yeah, we did. You didn't like him initially? No, but he always wins. <laughs> yeah. And I love when groups do looks that aren't matching, but yeah. go. Yes. That is a skill. Yes. Like you look cohesive, but you also look like your own people. Yeah, and I like when he does that with us. So yeah. I'm gonna have to go with this. Okay, you did amazing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's actually just take it out of the frame. <laughs> Maya, thank you, darling. Right, now let's get into your style. I feel like a lot of people don't know you're a fashion girl. <laughs> you love fashion. If you don't know, she also has a YouTube channel. We'll link it below. Um, so let's, we're gonna get the tea on, on your wardrobe, your style, all the things. So first up, we always make our guests tell us their style in three words. If you had to describe your personal style. Um, edgy? For sure, for sure. Oh gosh, what else? No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> I, I'm kind of tomboy mm -hmm. now. And you know, I try to keep it classy. I'm older now. I my my style changes. Yeah. You yeah, know? We're going to get into that. Okay. We're going to get into that. So edgy, classy, and tomboy. And tomboy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say a little glam. Because like we just talked about you, yeah. or honestly, just extra. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of mine. When I describe yeah. mine, that's one of mine. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't okay, care how plain extra. it is, it's going to be something yeah. where like, yeah, it is was, extra. I, yeah. it was a little extra. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Talk, let's get into the hair. Okay. Get, how did we get here? Have you had short hair before? Not like this. Okay, no. so yeah. how did you even come to this decision? What made you say, let's do it blonde? You just did all the things. You know, honestly, um, Jay Bolin, our stylist, like I said, he styles us from head to right, toe. So, come on, come on, come on. So, I'm headed downstairs now to go and get the ladies. The ladies of S double Q U V S S. Oh, they're gonna pull in right here. I mean, dang. <laughs> that no, lady. <laughs> Love seeing your legs. We gotta, we gotta tighten it up. Every piece of you is to perfection. So if you can just stand still for me. Mm -hmm. Sit with the roll. <laughs> Which crap pattern? Big, but this is the the the, the fine bit. So. So, mm -hmm. he would always want to put us in bob wigs, no color. You're gonna get a bob? And I'm like, I'm so You get a bob, you get a bob. I'm so sick of this bob. And so like, I was thinking about cutting my hair mm -hmm. short and I'm online at the airport and there's a young lady stand, standing behind me and she has the bald blonde head. I said, I'm doing this when I, I get home. Look. I went home mm -hmm. and I had my son cut it off and then I went to get it dyed. And I was, you know, we had to go to New York to do Sherry Shepard. And I'm just like, I'm gonna travel like this. Yeah, I'm not, I bought my wigs, but I'm so just So you just did traveling. it, you didn't tell anybody. You I was like, I'm just gonna do it. And I took a picture and Jay Bolin saw it and he FaceTimed me and said, that's it. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? He said, you're this gonna is the look. look. I was like, no. So as soon as you did it, you went on a show? 
Sherry Shepard. <laughs> That was the oh, worst MG. reveal. And, everybody and did like, you wear black at all? You said as soon as you cut it, you were like, now we need blonde, blonde to complete yeah. the... Never black. It's a blonde. Thank you. I love Don't it. Don't you feel so free? I do. Oh, you just look... I oh. love it. Yeah. I love it. And it's such a moment. Now, you can put on anything. Yeah. It's like, oh, you did that. Yeah, I'm not. I don't, I'm you never going me. back. I don't think so, no. Yeah. That's what I tell people. <laughs> but you never thought you would have short hair. Never. I, just I didn't think about it, but... He just kept, you gonna wear this black ball? I'm like, ugh, give me a break. <laughs> so now the other girls are stuck with the ball. <laughs> I love it. I love how, like, that was super random. Yeah, it was. It could have been a big fail. Yeah, it could have like, been. If it is, then I'm gonna put the bob on. That's, and that's right. what it is. <laughs> Okay, tell us about the process of evolving your looks as a group and personally from back then to now. So that's what you were just kind of saying, right. like your style has shifted. But... How do you stay stylish all this time, right? Like, how do you stay on trend all this time? How do you, and, and then as a group, how do you all still look good together? You know, as a group, we have to thank Jay Bolin, mm -hmm. you know. Shout out to him. Yeah, Jay I Bolin. I put up all the looks he's styled recently. I follow him. He's, yeah. he really does that. He does. It's yeah. such a, if you want to see how hard being a stylist is, you should follow him because he does a lot of good behind yeah. the scenes mm -hmm. of like, when you put a whole look together, yeah, it's a whole look. It's a whole look. And everybody can do that. And we've never had a stylist that styles us like that. He wants our nails a certain Yeah, color. I'm like, Jay, I already got my nails done. <laughs> because that's the thing. When we are on this show rating looks and yeah. we're like, the dress is cute, but the hair should have been this because yeah. the person that picked out the dress wasn't talking to the makeup exactly. artist or the hairstylist. So and he's like, he, uh, we need curls. Yeah. I mean, uh, we need red nails. The hairstylist, the makeup artist, we just, we're just there. I love so he does everything. So, as so he's group, keeping y'all kind of like cohesive. Is, yes. Okay, personal and style. And for me, I have a young son that he's fabulous. Yeah, shout out <laughs> so, to him. Well, Jay like, Michael. <laughs> yeah. And he just helps me, you know, just stay current. Mm -hmm. And I sit, but I watch a lot of YouTube. And I watch you. Oh. And you have me spending a lot of money. <laughs> okay, hold on now. Hold on now. I just share the thing. And you now. share, and I go right and I buy. You're like, where did that link at? I'm like, let me get this link. And so that's how I stay current. Mm -hmm. I use all the resources. Yeah. And I, I watch the girlies on YouTube because, you know, and you just show me how to put different pieces yeah. together that things that I wouldn't even think of doing different colors. So now I experiment. Yeah. And I just go for and it. You can tell you have so much fun. I too. do. But that's a really good point to like staying relevant. Yeah. It's like maybe you don't have it all figured out, but right. then just using different tools. Exactly. To kind of like, but you also know what you like too. I know what so I like. So then you can decipher like, yeah. oh, I'm going to try that or mm -hmm. and see what, you know, because there are certain things that I wouldn't even think to put together. Mm -hmm. So I'm always on TikTok. I'm like, okay, let me see what's going on today. <laughs> and then I, you know, I'll buy stuff and leave it in my closet. And then when it's time, I'll put it together. You got it. You got it yeah. ready. Use your resources. We already talk about Pinterest, but resources are everywhere. Yeah. And people in your life are resources. Yeah. Being the trendsetter that you are, how do you feel about fashion trends that are coming back around? And I know you see things and you're like, I did that. Like I, <laughs> so, because that's how I'm a, I love referencing things yeah, and being like yeah. showing people like, oh, this is where that came yeah. from. So I know you see things and you're like, that's crazy. Yeah. How do you feel when you see stuff like that? Or is there something you saw where you were like, I know, I know we did that. A lot. Of I know things. where that came from. Yeah, like, um, the sheer tops. I remember when we first did the sheer tops with the bra. That's what I would have yeah. said. <laughs> I remember when we first did that. So, so to see that come back around, I'm like, wow, we really did that. The baggy jeans. Yes. Like yes. We did that. You did the, you started the cool, sexy. Yeah. The tomboy looks, because we wanted to My be the female boy. version of Jodeci. So. Oh, I did. never knew that. Yeah, that was our thing. But so. now that you say it. We had a combat that boot. So much Oh, yeah, so much sense. And I see the nails. I'm like, wow. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there should be a like a national day in your honor for nails because yeah, I see the nails. I'm I feel like that that nails. goes very under the radar. Yeah, like I does. need them to put some respect. It in does. Them. Like it does. But sure. design, like y'all wasn't even thinking about yeah. that. Yeah, y'all weren't doing that. Okay, I'm gonna talk to my my congressman about uh, <laughs> making a day for that. <laughs> Um, this is a question we always ask people. I'm okay. curious, who is your style icon? Um, it could be past, present, but someone that made you like, I want to like do more with fashion or they inspire me to get dressed or this like. I'm not saying this because I'm here, but Girl! it is you. <laughs> I, 
I followed you here. I'm like, <laughs> when you had the brown hair, the long brown hair, I, I went and dyed my wig. I dyed it myself. I was like, I need that chocolate. The day I discovered you, I'm like, I want to get more into this. I'm serious. And um, I'm going to hold it together. <laughs> like, when called. you moved here, I knew when you moved here, I'm like, I, yeah. Well, now we're best friends. So. Yes. <laughs> And it just made me want to just get more like, into get it. Excited. I'm like, I can get into this. I can do this, you know? Yeah. And just fix myself up. And like, yeah. So I look, I love you. I love Tracy Ross. She's amazing. She is that girl. She is that girl. She makes me just want to yes. put that shit on. Yeah. Like, that's what, like, I'm like, I see her picture. I'm like, let me get dressed. Okay. Let me go to the grocery store. Oh, just so, yeah. You know, and my girl, my group, they tease me all the time. They're yeah. Like, she's this fashion girl. I'm like, I just like, I'm a woman. I like to look good. Yeah. You know? But you can tell, like, you are having fun with I it, am. too. And I feel like that's the best part. Yeah. It's like, it's just clothes. Yeah. That's you right. might hate this outfit tomorrow. Tomorrow, then you put something else on. Right. Then you do it a different. Like exactly, it's, it's, it's not that deep. What's your favorite look you've worn recently? Ah, uh, recently. You know what? We just did the Soul Train Awards um, on Sunday, and I really loved my outfit. I mm. bought him on this outfit. Okay, let me look. Is it posted? <laughs> it's posted. Okay, let's yeah. See. And let's see. I bought him on this look. What? Like you didn't like it? You were like, I this isn't the, the move. Skirt. But then when I, I he so they made me another outfit. But this, I, yes, girl. And, but then I was like, you know what? You I know he be like, if you don't sit your ass, yes, let me do my job. <laughs> He's like, Coco, please. You were like, I'm not feeling the skirt. I want something else. And then the designer was like, I saw this in my dream. Please, I'm like, oh, it looks so God. good. And then I tried it on. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, I like this. <laughs> You came out like, you were right, I was wrong. I had to. I said, you were right, and I was so wrong. It's, it <laughs> looks so good. And this is a, another good example of, like, y'all all look different. Yeah. But it looks so good together. He has such an eye. I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. Because it also just looks like you. Yeah. And it's another hard thing for stylists to yeah. do. Yeah. Like, figure out who the person is and yeah. make them, dress them like they dress themselves. Yes. And he knows our style, our individual style. So that's what I love about him. And he was definitely right about this because at first I was like, no. But then I tried it on. I was like, oh, okay, I it's was wrong. <laughs> Are y'all looking at it? It's. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, J-Lo. All right. Now it's time for a new game we made especially for you, of course. Okay. So this is called Throw It Back. Because, like we talked about, you have been a trendsetter, you in the group. We want to look back at some of your most iconic, well, these are basically my favorites. Okay. <laughs> um, and I just want you to tell whatever you remember. Walk okay. us through the day, set the scene, okay. how do these looks come about? And the first one is my absolute favorite. This is um, the album cover of Release Some Tension. Mm -hmm. It's the leopard and the leather for me. Um, but tell us, was there a stylist? Like, how, how do we get the, it's the confidence, it's the... It was a stylist, but I know I remember seeing Foxy Brown and something like this mm. with the hat. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, can we do something like this? And then the stylist, she put it together for me. And then the poses, like, how did we even that like this? Just natural. Yeah. <laughs> like just three New York girls just chilling. So this I is one of my favorites. <laughs> like the hat, it's all the things. The it's everything. Yes. But it's like the the vibe also. And I loved hats back then like this. Yep, this is just what we do. This is how we do it. Yeah. That's like Lily's always smiling. Always <laughs> smiling. Lily's always smiling. Okay. Next look. And this is like my all-time favorite it music is? video. <laughs> Here's the thing, as far as style, because I feel like, like, did you know this was setting a trend back no. then? When I saw this video, I need some <laughs> riding pants anything. and some riding boots no. immediately. Mm -hmm. Like people were not dressing like this. We didn't know. Did you like, were you fighting on the set about this? Cause I it also was, feel like this was a little. It was so hot. <laughs> it was just so hot out here. So we looked miserable. The horses, um, Lily's horse wasn't cooperating. It was just a lot going on. It was a there. lot. Yeah. This is such a. I feel like departure from yeah. like the style, the Jodeci. Yes. Style. Was. This yeah. was like a little more feminine and. Yeah. I, I love this. But yeah, at the time you were like, it's just so hot. I don't think we can concentrate, right? <laughs> you were like, I don't really care about Okay. So, but we still had our boots on out here. At That's the beach. true. You did. You did. Yeah. You brought the, you brought the city to the beach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the vibe. Okay. Next slide. Now this one, when we talk about 90s beauty, this is what I want to see. Yeah. Um, so, like how was beauty different back then? Like, was it just less makeup or? The makeup was different because it's like, 
red lipstick was always the thing. Yeah, so yeah. I always wanted That's to put red it. lipstick on. Yeah. Her. So that was, I think that was different. And even the way they did makeup back then, because I don't remember as much contouring and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I feel like there was still a lot of makeup. It just looked different. It looked different. different. Yeah, it was like a little softer. A little different. Do you yeah. prefer makeup now? Yeah. Makeup back? Oh. <laughs> Do <laughs> tell. Do I tell. I just love the makeup now. You know, I do my own makeup. I had to learn to do my makeup because we've had a lot of just mm. disasters. You but look really good. Thank you. I, I just like, you know, playing with it's the, practice. the concealer, yeah. the highlight and the contour. I like all of that. There's way more options now though too. So that yeah, makes it more fun. A lot. Yeah. You had probably like two like shades back then and then just lipstick. Yeah, and the red lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for walking us down memory lane. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah. The, the audience is <laughs> applause. <laughs> These are just rapid fire questions. We just okay. want to learn more about your style, things you like, that kind of thing. Uh, what was your first designer splurge? The first ever? I know there's been so many oh splurges. Oh gosh. Um, maybe Gucci? That feels, that feels right. Yeah, maybe. Maybe something from Gucci. Maybe Gucci and then, um, I'll probably say, yeah, I'm going to say Gucci. Because I was had Gucci like at 15, so I'm going to say Gucci. No. <laughs> That's so New York. <laughs> it is. Like, when I went to school, the girls had Gucci bags. <laughs> um, what is your current go-to place to find a fire outfit? You need a look. Uh, whatever the link sends me. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I'm, I'm far-fetch. I love Farfetch. You know, we love Farfetch. Yes. Because you just get anything from all over the world. Yes. Okay, favorite designer bag? A YSL bag. <laughs> put it up. Uh, best city to shop in? Ooh, LA. Mm, I, I love like No one ever says LA. I love shopping in I mean, the weather's so nice that I love it too. Yeah, but I like Miami too. Mm, where do you shop in LA? Like Rodale? I go to Rodale, go to the Beverly Center. Mm -hmm. There's just so many options in LA. We go wherever. That's my shopping They also have a great outlet. Yeah. Have and, you been to the- In uh, where? Desert Hills? There's Palm Desert? What's it called? I think it's Desert Hills. I think it's Desert Hills. Mm -hmm. It's like near Palm, what's, where do they have Coachella? It's kind of out there. So it's like oh, an hour yeah, or two yeah, away, yeah. but- No. It's really good. So next time you go, just- I'll go. Somebody. I'm going next week. Oh, I'll see. Um, best style or fashion advice you've ever gotten? You know, like I said, my son Jay, he helps me out a lot. Mm -hmm. But I just like, you know, just be creative and be yourself. You can wear what you want as long as it makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm older. I'm 53. So I don't try to stick with all the trends mm -hmm. and I have to just be me. I want to... I say I want to dress my age, and they're like, well, what's your age? What does that look like? You want to dress how you feel. Yeah, however, you know what I put on. I don't want to, you know, just follow every trend that everybody is doing. I want to just be me. And if I feel good, I'm comfortable in it, and I feel like I look good, I'm going to wear it. Period. We'll put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> um, what was your worst luxury purchase? Uh, I bought a Chanel bag that, a patent leather Chanel bag oh. that I was like, what is this? <laughs> what hat, like, as far as quality? The quality, the patent yeah, leather got yeah. cloudy. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Is it, how recent was this? It, it wasn't, I've had it for a moment. I gave it some, yeah. to my son, because I'm like, I no, don't. No, patent is stressful. It's stressful. Like, I have a patent out. Chanel bag, I'm like, and it has you stains kidding? all over it. I was like, if I would have known. I also have a Chanel bag that the hand of the top just fell off. It's oh, currently see. getting fixed. Listen, <laughs> they're on my bad list. Okay, it's time for another game. This is called, as seen on TV, this is my actual favorite game. This is iconic fashion looks from movies. So I'm going to show you a small clip or a cropped image, and okay. you're going to guess the movie and or the character. Bonus points if you can name both. Okay. Okay, so this is our first one. There you go. Uh, can you guess the movie? I know you know this. Coming to America. Period. Can you, can you guess the character? You don't have to say, I don't think we it's knew her Vanessa name. Vanessa Bell Armstrong. Okay, you, okay, you so got that. Vanessa Bell somebody. Calloway. Calloway, yeah. That's what, okay, give us a swipe. <laughs> <laughs> name the character or the movie. Is this Fatal Attraction? Close. Close. You are, that's, that's a really good guess. <laughs> that's a really good guess. 
I don't know her you're... name, but it's somebody about to show the. <laughs> I it is. Show her vagina. Yeah, like, yeah. That's what's happening. You see, you see. You. I, I'll give it to you. It was somebody. What is it? Basic instinct. Basic instinct. You were there. Okay. You, you. It's Sharon Stone. Okay. Okay. Next up. Oh, I don't know. Who this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is. Who is? She's on, she's on Rodale Drive. I don't know who she is. Okay. This is a uh, pretty woman. This is Julia oh, Roberts. Lord. This is big mistake. Yeah. Big, big. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That's okay. You got two out of three so far. Okay. Okay, swipe. <laughs> Diane Ross. There you go. Do you know the movie? The Mahogany? The, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we need a buzzer. We need a, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got a little movie clip. This is a, this is a classic. We can't show you the... Oh my. Okay. She's a uh, red suit. You guys are seeing it. I don't know who this is. I'll tell you. It looked like the 90s though. It's... Who is this? 99, 2000? It's... You want to tell you? Yeah. It's Gabrielle Union. You know the movie? Uh, I don't know the movie, but... But I'm you like... can... Who can play that game? Uh, okay, okay. And she's like, I'm gonna go hard that Negro. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now this one is kind of hard, but I couldn't give it all away. This is a movie, it's, a it's movie. for women. Wait until exhale. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like either you know the dress or you yeah, don't. I know it. Okay, swipe. Oh, that might be the, no. No, we got one more, a few more. Um, okay, so I have two for this one. Okay. Because I did my, I had them tested and each one got a different one. So it's that <laughs> one and there's another one if you swipe. Okay. So that's two women. And then this is another, I feel like that's a better one, but. Is this is not Lathan? No, it's no, not. this is a, this is the old, old, oldie. Child. This is the, this is the early 90s. Robin Givens. Period. <laughs> what was she in? Do you know the movie? No. Yes, you do. Robin Givens? Come on. Okay. Come on. Yes. She was a baddie. Oh. Um, mm hmm It, no. <laughs> was it the, the, um, mm, it's gonna feel like, ah. Uh, I know you know this. Ah. Uh, the Eddie Murphy Yeah, movie. yeah. I can Okay, we'll give it to you. Boomerang. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, swipe. Um, this is two ladies. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's Halle Berry and the, I, mm -hmm. know, I know the movie. What are the two girls? What are their names? In oh, the movie? The, no, the oh. movie. The, I cannot. You know Halle Berry? Yeah. Her name is Natalie in real life. Yes. It's uh, Nisi yeah. and Mickey. That's their names in the movie. Baps. There you go. There you go. Ding, 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 ding. I was... you got one more. Let's go ahead and swipe. Wait. <laughs> Wait. It's a look for me. Really take it. Now, this is, this is 90s. This is 90s? I think. My, yeah, this is 90s. Is this Women from Bruce's Place? It's not. No. It's, it's a movie. Oh, that was a movie, too. Um, This is a classic, but I feel it's not a comedy, so... It's, it's, I mean, I need this woman's from this place. I don't know who this is. This is Eve's Bayou. Oh. Like the mom and the aunt. I don't remember their names in the movie. Okay. But I, I love watch that like that, so I don't know. Okay. That's <laughs> it. You did good. Uh, you this was hard. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like, oh, Lord. <laughs> we made a hint just for you. Uh-oh. Uh, it's called Reflection, Name a Time When. Um, and we wanted this section because we wanted you to reflect on some impactful moments to inspire the queens. Okay. okay. So, name a time when you felt most supported. Most supported? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I want to say now, mm -hmm. right now, because... Um, you know, SWB, we've come a long ways. We've been here for 31 years doing this thing. And the love and support that we're receiving right now is mm -hmm. just amazing. And the fact that people still, you know, want to see us and they're enjoying us. It's just amazing. It's a great feeling. So, oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, name a time when you felt most beautiful. 
I feel most beautiful now. Yes. <laughs> just the haircut. Um, I just feel like it's a glow. You're up. literally glowing. Yeah. I feel like I'm, all the time. I'm, I'm loving this this era that I'm in right I'm now. I'm enjoying you. it. Yeah. I love this. Um, name a time when you felt you arrived. Oh, I don't think I'm a rock. Oh, please. There's so much more that I want to do. So, I mean, I guess maybe when I first came out and sold those platinum records, you know, maybe. He's like, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. I am here. So those millions of records, you know, for like, oh, yeah, we've arrived, you know. All right. Name a time you felt recently inspired. Recently <laughs> inspired. You know, um, I've seen a, a friend of mine, she's on this musical journey and she's been trying, um, just been wanting this for so many years. She was in Sister Act years ago. Mm. And you know, she made a record and she didn't do well, but she didn't give up. Mm -hmm. And she's nominated for two Grammys. Her <gasps> name is Tanya Blount. I'm gonna put her on the screen. Yes, and I'm so excited. I'm so proud of her. And it just inspired me to keep going. Yeah. You know, don't give up. Yeah. And like, There's still dreams worth chasing. still dreams. Yeah. And your timing is not God's timing. You never know when it's your turn, so. See, this is what the queens needed to hear. Yeah. Thank you, okay. Uh, name a time when you were excited to try something new. Uh, this haircut is definitely <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. something new. I just went for it, you know, the day I came home and I had my son cut my hair. My mother is screaming, no, <laughs> no. I'm like, I need to do this for me. And I did it and she's like, then she comes back, you look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, thank you. So, yeah, you really have some faith, right? You were like, this is what it's going to be. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. going to try it. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Name a time when you knew you were still that girl. Ah, oh, <laughs> I just like now. Yes. You know, now. now. It's just, it's just weird with the haircut and everything. I don't know. The haircut makes me more noticeable. Sounds like a rebirth. That's old man. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So yeah, I think now, I you know, I'm really feeling it. I love, I love this section, Maya. This was her idea. It was very, yeah, but... <laughs> really, really got in there. Um, before we go, is there a personal style tip you can leave the queens with? We're all on this journey to figuring ourselves out. Mm -hmm. What is the takeaway that you want to leave everyone with? Just do what I do. Do your research, see what works for you. But you know, just be creative. But trial and error. And trial and error. You don't have to wear every, you don't have to always wear name brand. You do what's best for you and comfortable for your pockets. Uh, lastly, what, anything you want to share with the queens? Should we be on the lookout for anything? You want to plug any projects? I mean, I feel like you have like nonstop things happening. <laughs> nonstop. <laughs> you know, I'm actually leaving, going to London for a few. We have more shows coming up. Going on tour, going back on tour next year. And there's something else that we may or may not be doing, but stay, stay tuned. tuned. Make yeah. sure you can find Coco everywhere. She is on YouTube, which yeah. you are hilarious. <laughs> well, I was literally cracking up just trying to go through all your YouTube videos. She's on YouTube. You're on Instagram. Yeah, You're on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. She's yeah. everywhere. And, and follow Coco and SWV. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much for being thank on this show. This is the best season finale. I mean, it's the first season finale, but it's the best. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on season two. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So good. No stress. No stress. No stress. <laughs> you did so good. Really? They're going to love it. Yeah. Just fun conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. I was so nervous. No. Oh, shit. That was what? <laughs> <laughs>